Hi, my name is Lizzie Boyer. I'm from Highland, Utah. In the book of Jerem, we read about how the Lord was on their side during this big battle. My question is, in the world today, how does the Lord pick sides when there are good followers on both sides? I think it's a really interesting question to think through because it's easy for us to say, oh, God was on Enos's side. Right. Really, he answered that prayer. Um, but don't you think he was on the Lamanites exactly, side? Exactly, right. Because he, like <laughs> Enos was then praying for them. So yeah. God's on all sides. That's, that's right. Yeah, I think that's exactly, I mean, that's exactly right. It doesn't mean that God doesn't love or isn't on the side of the Lamanites and for the Lamanites in part because it's not clear whether or not the Nephites will survive. Mm -hmm. We experience, I think, sides or people that are giving us grief or people that we're struggling with. And God, I think, looks and sees his children. Mm -hmm. Yes. In fact, I had an experience. There had been something that happened that had hurt a lot of people. And I felt frustrated about this thing that had happened. And I was praying and saying, what about all these people that were hurt? That's not fair. And the response from God was, I love that person who did that thing. Wow. And I said, yeah, but what about, and God said, <laughs> I love that person. And it just kept insisting. And I, and I realized, okay, God is not going to pit us against each other. Mm 